Alright guys, so here we are for another random F1 2015 video. Today I thought I'd do something a little left of field. Shut up, Anthony Davidson. I don't want to hear your voice again. Uh, we're going to do a random race around Russia today since the uh, Grand Prix weekend is on today. We've got qualifying on. By the time you've probably seen this video, you guys will have already known who got pole and um, who might be cranky or whatnot after that session. So. Uh, let me know what you thought of qualifying down in the comments. As I said, I don't know what's going on with that, but I ha actually haven't even seen practice one, two. Uh, I might see practice three. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But um, yeah, it should be another interesting weekend in the world of Formula One. Russia, not my most favorite track, I've got to be honest. Uh, last year's race was pretty damn boring. But hopefully this round, it should be, uh, this, this season rather, it should be a little bit more exciting with the softer compounds on offer. But um, in terms of our video today, we're going to be racing as Sebastian Vettel. We're going to do a 25% race. We're going to do qualifying, but we're going to retire straight away because we're going to be starting from the back of the grid. That's right, overtaking every single car, seeing how far up the order we can get. We'll talk about the race. We'll talk about some other things as well. Talking about career mode, the finale, which will be coming out tomorrow. And also, we'll um, dabble into what I might be doing next season for career mode. So that's what we're doing in this video. Let's go to the race. Here we are in Russia in the scenic Black Sea resort of Sochi, where this purpose-built track is described as one of the most impressive tracks on the Formula One calendar. Welcome to the Russian Grand Prix. I wonder if anyone's been putting some diesel on the track this year. No? No? Okay. That was more of a hit on Twitter. But anyway, here we are for the Russian Grand Prix, starting at the back driving Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari. So in terms of the race strategy, I think it's only a one-stop being a 25% race. I opted to go with a default setup to go with the same kind of conditions that the AI have. So should be pretty interesting. Starting from the back, it's going to be a very interesting race. My, my pedals aren't working. Fantastic. Oh. There we go. Thank you. Can we start our race now? Is this going to be... Okay, screw it. Let's start, let's start like this. We've had a... We've given the AI a five, six second head start. Let's go into turn one. We're not going to crash with anyone, I would think. Unless the manners go literally that slow. Maybe the McLaren Hondas. We'll have to wait and see. Into turn one now. And as predicted, a fairly clean start. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, lads, where you think we're going to finish in this race. It's come to my attention recently that I've actually never lost a race around Russia in career mode. I've done four races around Russia in the past four seasons. Won every single one of them. I did not know that. I did not think that Russia was a strong track for me, but apparently it is. Already now into the middle sector now, and we're going to go up the inside of Roberto Mary, already out of last place. Job done. So what I wanted to talk about in this video, guys, is Season 3 is coming up very soon for Career Mode, and I'm thinking about doing Pro Season Mode. So let me know down in the comments whether you want to see that or not. It will mean we'll be using um, cockpit cam, no assists, no restarts, no flashbacks. So if anything happens to us over the course of the season or in any race or something, then we're completely on our own. And um, we'll just have to deal with whatever Codemasters throws at us. So... As well with that, there we'll have full qualifying, um, three sessions. We'll have 100% races. It's going to be, uh, it's going to require a lot of effort to to get the series, you know, made and, and up to YouTube. So the videos may not come out as frequently as normal career mode episodes. So it may only be like once a week or something. So um, we'll have to weigh up what you guys really want. Do you guys want to wait longer for better quality races? Let me know down in the comments and. Um, I'll try and take like all of the feedback seriously, and also with the, the team choice, I still haven't, you know, 100% settled on a team yet. You guys voted in one of the career mode episodes, and the, the most voted team was Mana, and we can't be doing a full 100% season in Mana. That's just no. With no assists and cockpit cam, it, it, it's going to be so damn boring. We'll be on our own racing Roberto Mary for the entire season so it's not going to be mana I'm, I'm going to say that much but i am going to test 
all the teams once again because there has been a, a big patch that's come out midway through the Verstappen career mode and it's shaken up the order a little bit so I'm gonna do that and um, I'll try and pick the team that's gonna be the most exciting but anyway back to this race now it's already lap two I've rambled on for that long Verstappen is up next we got the inside here not quite still in p15 at the moment we're just taking it easy at the moment I haven't used fast revs yet still haven't you know thought about tire wear or anything like that the tires are in good condition Russia not really a high tire wear type circuit so um, that shouldn't really be a factor today we're really gonna have to win this one on outright pace and we're gonna try and do that as best we can getting as many positions as early as we can as well into p13 now as the DRS is enabled on lap 3 Oh, did you guys see that? The force feedback, I was driving over the curbs. Let's, let's get an onboard view of this. I was driving over the curbs and it's like sent me to the left and it's DNF'd me. This is incredible, watch this, over the curbs, just the left front tire and it's put me in the wall. Let's have a look at this in slow-mo. Just one tire over the curbs and it's moved me half a car width to the left. And that's enough to end my race. But luckily, this isn't a career mode race. This isn't for, for sheep stations or anything. We're going to continue on and go on our merry way. Now, if that happens in pro season mode, we're going to have to deal with that. That's a DNF against our name. So, yeah, something to think about. Massa going slowly. What the hell has happened to him? He's lost his front wing. Yellow flags as well. Another free position for us. Up the inside of Bottas. Possibly Hulkenberg as well at the end of this DRS straight. Bottas still on the outside there. Didn't realise he was still hanging it in there. Vettel throws up the hand in frustration and Bottas escapes with P11 for now. We're down to 19 runners in the Grand Prix. I assume that Massa has retired after losing his front wing in the first sector of this lap. So someone may be facing a drive-through penalty of some kind as we got the inside of Hulkenberg now. Next up is Maldonado. Always have to watch out for that character. Even in even in the game, his, his AI character is a little bit out there. Up next to the two Stalbers, they look to be going very slow through this high-speed left-hander. I've got to say, driving this this track in the Toro Rosso fairly recently for career mode, the car was very limited for grip going through there. This Ferrari has so much more downforce. And if I went for something like this in pro season mode, we'd be a serious threat for the championship. Even though we'd be driving in cockpit cam, which will slow us down a little bit. But we got the inside of Ericsson as well, and into P7. It, it's hard to describe like how tough the, the Verstappen career mode has been. It's been a very slow car. For some reason, going through low speed corners like hairpins and stuff, the turn in the bite wasn't there. Um, the car also lacks a little bit of downforce which makes it a little bit harder in high-speed corners and being a Renault powered car it also lacked in a straight line so a lot of factors uh, made us fairly slow this season it was just a miracle that we were able to challenge for the championship um, up until the penultimate round um, we just got so lucky with the Mercedes completely destro destroying their races so many times uh, the Ferraris being on form and taking points off the of Mercedes at the same time it was a very interesting season and one that I did not expect would happen. I thought I'd be around P5 for the championship, P6. I, I thought I'd be lucky to get in the top 10, but never did I think I'd be a, a contender for the championship. Grosjean going slowly. I didn't really think a Lotus would be this high up the order. Got the inside. He's been demoted to P6. Nice back end there. This last lap has been very sweaty trying to close in on Ricardo. He was three or four seconds up the road as we overshoot the pit lane. Just make it back in in time and into the pits now on lap six. Ricardo is up next. We may be able to jump him if Ferrari can give us a good pit stop here, but Red Bull, their pit stall is a little earlier in the pit lane, so that gives him a, a slight advantage. Yes, it does. He emerges in front of us. Grosjean, has he jumped us? No, he hasn't. He's still yet to make his stop there at the end of the pit lane. So rejoining on the track, it should be around about the top 10. We've come in, I think, for the undercut lap. Some people have stayed out for another lap, and that's that's a long way to go on a set of options, like, like 60 or 70% through this race already. Massa's up next. He lost his front wing 
Uh, very early on in the race, what's with the back end there? It just snapped. DRS, Slipstream, Ricardo up the inside into the third sector. We lock up both front tyres at different points in the braking zone and around the outside into effective P4, I think we're in now. Next up is Raikkonen and the two Mercedes. Into the pits now at the end of lap seven. We can see a lot of the midfield runners now into the pits. So there's Raikkonen at the end of that long left-hander. That's about six, seven seconds up the road. We've only got five laps left to go after this one, or including this one. I'm not too sure how you count the laps. I should know how to do this. I've been playing racing games for God knows how long. But yeah, the, the season finale of career mode will be coming out tomorrow. So make sure you leave a like if you're excited for that race. Abu Dhabi always throws up some interesting racing in my career mode episodes. And I'm hoping that this one is going to be no different. Oh my lap cars, we are catching Raikkonen by over a second a lap. Do a 39.5 that lap, fastest of the race so far. I think the two Mercedes cars are battling just up the road ever so slightly, but they're also catching a lap car in the process. <laughs> We're just running out of time as well at the same time, so I think we may get on the podium, only just, but we may, at the same time, I think we're just going to run out of time to catch the Mercedes too, unless that lap car can get involved. DRS, oh, we only just snuck that in at the end of the straight. Raikkonen's sliding around a little bit. He's been losing time so much in the last couple laps. His tyre's going off the cliff, even though there shouldn't really be that much tyre wear at all. We'll see in this third sector just how much Raikkonen slides around. I've seen it visually through the middle sector. The third sector should be even worse, but I just, I gotta say, driving this Ferrari is just an absolute dream right now compared to the Toro Rosso. This thing is so, so planted, so stable. It's got a good platform, this car. Really nice residual grip. Makes it really nice to drive through the slow corners. And Russia has a lot of those. The Mercedes are slowing up so much, I actually think Raikkonen's faster than all of them, including us. We've gone in deep to another corner. That's going to cost us third, isn't it? We're going to have DRS on Raikkonen here. We may as well stay on board for the rest of this race now. There's only one more sector to go. We're very low on fuel, but I think we should be fine. DRS, Slipstream on Raikkonen. We're just going to run out of time. The two Mercedes, I've got to say, they've been battling side by side, or nose to tail, for the last two or three laps straight. Raikkonen very slow through the third sector. Let's just go up the inside. Let's just throw it in there. Who cares? We didn't crash. We're into third. Two more corners to go. And Rosberg has thrown an, he's thrown away another lead. He, he got on pole for this race, losing to his teammate Lewis Hamilton once again. And we came so close to winning the Russian Grand Prix from last on the grid. Mercedes have won today's race, and what a result for the team. Nicky Lauda rightly called it as one of the drives of the season. That was pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. Starting from last place in a Ferrari around the streets of Russia. It's not a street track. What are you talking about, Ben? But either way, we've come from last to third in this random video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I might do more of these uh, when the race weekend comes around. Uh, in terms of the career mode for Season 3, let me know what you want to see, whether it be a championship season like we've seen in the first two seasons, or do you want to see a pro season mode, 100% races, hardcore mode, no assist, cockpit cam, all that kind of thing. It's going to be damn tough, but it's also going to be pretty damn entertaining at the same time. So let me know what you want to see. If you've got any predictions for the race tomorrow, let me know as well. Um, the Tiamat Mardik video, the, me the name meaning... Uh, video. I've been meaning to make that for a little while now. I did attempt to make it about a week ago and the video didn't quite turn out as well as I wanted to. So I'll have to re-record that and that'll come out sometime fairly soon. I apologize about the long break between, you know, getting 100k and then making that video. So uh, just be a little bit more patient. It's going to come out soon. I just want it to be as good as um, it can be because I think it's going to be a pretty memorable video. So that's been this video for today, a random race around the Russian Grand Prix. Hopefully the race tomorrow is 10 times more exciting than last year's Russian Grand Prix. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new. The season finale of Career Mode will be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And until then guys, I'll see you next time.